Hello my friends, this is the first video of a series that I will make for those of you who would like to learn how to play a flute. It's the first video for complete beginners and I'll teach you three things. First of all, how to put a flute together. Second of all, I'll explain to you the physics behind the magic, how a flute actually works. And third, I'll teach you how to make a sound of the flute. And if you will do it, it means that you can be a flute master one day, for sure. Modern flute consists of three parts. Head joint is going to be at the top, main body of flute is going to be in the middle, and this part is going to be at the bottom. It is very important to assemble your flute properly. And first of all, you will need to put a head joint in the main body of a flute. So to do so, you will twist it in to the main body like this and then you will need to align this piece of your head joint with this key of the main body something like this so you see this part is in line with this key. Next step is to connect your bottom part to your main body of a flute. So you will connect this part with this part. You will twist it in and then you will need to adjust it. You will need to have this part to be in line with this key. So by gently twisting it you will need to find this alignment. So before we gonna go into physics, I'll tell you some history. Flutes are one of the most ancient musical instruments. Archaeologists define flutes that humans were playing 200,000 years ago. Us as Homo sapiens have been around 40, 70,000 years. So you can imagine how many generations of our predecessors were playing this instruments and if you play this instrument these days you can feel connection with all of our generations who are playing flutes it's very interesting why our predecessors were playing those instruments if you think of it it's not useful you can't kill a mammoth with a flute you know and in survival mode you think about shelter, food, sex, safety, right? So scientists were thinking about why people in such a in a way how we see their world, why they were playing those instruments? You know, what was the purpose? And they were thinking that it was actually the first signs of a culture that we are right now part of. We are a result of this culture that was created thousands and thousands of years ago. Scientists think that there were people in those small societies, right, that were roaming around the globe, who were trying to interpret, who were trying to understand like, what's happening. They were trying to explain this world to others. They were called different names in different uh, cultures. One of them is the shamans, right? They were trying, telling stories and they were using those instruments as well as part of telling the story. I find it fascinating. And those flutes, they were made out of bone. Later, they were made out of wood. These days, it makes out of metal. Who knows what's gonna come? But you know, it's a very interesting history I will definitely suggest you to check it out. So why those early herb humans they were actually you know trying to play on such instrument. There is a theory that definitely it's not even a theory, definitely the first musical instrument was our voice, right? And the rhythms that we can stomp. It's Music is an inner in us, you know, in every single one of us. 
but flute in a way represents voice. In a way, the mechanics, the physics behind the magic is exactly the same. The way how you sing or you even speak is very similar to the way how you're gonna be playing the flute. Like you breathe, you make a sound with your breath. That's why in Russia, and I'm from Russia, um, we call these instruments duhavye instruments. And duh is actually means spirit in English, which finds, I find fascinating. So technically it's a spiritual instrument. You play on this instrument with your spirit, which makes me very happy. Also, when you're playing a flute, it's very similar to a whistle. Once again, there is a theory that ancient humans, they were mimicking birds that were here long before us. The way they were whistling, the way they were singing, and it was helping them to develop their musical culture, which at some point was transformed into flutes. And definitely our ancestors, they were listening to wind. We sometimes don't hear it in the city. Well, I'm in Toronto, so I definitely do hear it. <laughs> but when is very similar physics to the way how you're gonna be playing on the flute. So that's just a little bit of a history of some context for you, because context is very important for anything, for, for everything. <laughs> and now I will explain to you physics. Most people think that when you're playing a flute, right, sound comes out of here. Yeah. Wrong, it's not like that. Uh, sound actually comes from here. So when you produce a stream of air from the this part of the flute it makes the whole body of the flute vibrate and it makes a sound like this so you see you don't even need to press any of those keys i'll explain to you definitely after why we have them right but to be able to play on the flute just need to make this one sound and the physics how it works the whole body of the flute vibrates when you are breathing into an instrument when you're playing with your spirit on this instrument so how do you make this one sound of the flute you will need to produce a stream of air onto this part of a flute. You will need to put head joint somewhere here on the waves. Try to feel this spot. And this part, this opening, is going to sit gentle here, right in the middle, right in the middle. Don't pressure, it should be tight. And you can maybe even hear if you will try to speak that it starts sounding. Especially if you make a sound T. And that's actually how the flute works. If you breathe into it, it's gonna start vibrating. the sound of the wind. But definitely to make a proper sound, you need to breathe. I'll make a, another video explaining the breathing techniques and how I came to playing flute and actually yoga and breathing 
techniques help me to understand how to play on the flute before I tried to play on the flute and then when I started actually the puzzle came you know <laughs> together everything just worked out but you need to breathe you need to make a sound like I said something close to uh, speeding a seed of a watermelon that's a, just the way you know I've heard as well how people are trying to explain this breathing technique right but it's something like this so if you make a sound on the flute it sounds like this and without the flute it sounds like this something like this so you produce a very narrow stream of air like forcing it to a point and it hits this part of the flute, breaks apart, and the whole body starts vibrating, making this sound. If you will make this one sound on the flute, it means that you can master this instrument. And it's actually very simple. Some kids, uh, when you know, in the childhood, they in Russia at least, they are <laughs> whistling in the bottles. And making a very similar sound, you can just do that, make one sound, just one sound, but it's exactly the same physics. I'll tell you the story of how hard it was for me to make this one sound, but I was very, you know, eager to learn how to play a flute, and I did it. And I hope that you guys will learn to play a flute and make this sound. But for today guys, it's gonna be it. So once again, in this lesson, I teach you three things. First of all, how to assemble a flute together. I explain to you, second of all, physics, how it works, and gave you some historical content to understand this instrument better. And third, I showed you how to produce a first sound, which is very important, the very first sound on the flute. If you do it, the flute universe is at your disposal. If you like this video, definitely check out the next videos as well, because there's lots of things to discuss and to explain to you about the flute. I don't want to overwhelm the first video with too much information, so I'm gonna split it into different sections and if you would like to learn some techniques if you have a question that you think i can help you with please write it down in a comment send it to me on my facebook uh, leave it in a comment right on youtube and i will be happy to share what i know with you